He's the artist that you, you don't know, and he got to number one, this mysterious guy. Oh, Lord. This, why, why is this nigga so great? He's telling you, like, in your face, this is me. I personally like that people don't know who I am. It goes back to the underdog thing. I think sometimes people don't realize how big the fan base is now. Hey, I'm Red. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna take you on a small journey. I've been listening to NF's music for about 4 years now and since then he has consistently dropped soulful, hard and almost timeless music non-stop. NF, along with his main producer Tommy Prophet, who pretty much made all the beats for his most recent project Clouds the Mixtape, have managed to create this unique genre of music that is unlike any other rapper's style. You may know NF's music by simple, emotional piano beats that turn into big orchestral pieces, or by sad pop instrumentals along NF's singing. Regardless of what you imagine when you picture NF, it is likely he has made some sort of impact on you. In spite of this, the industry still fails to recognize the mere size of NF's influence in music. Last year, his fans gave him the US iTunes number one spot with the single Paid My Dues. This year, Clouds the Mixtape sold over 86k first week and debuted at number 3 on Billboard's Top 200. So what is going on here? How does a rapper become so successful while still being called unknown by the industry? Why does it seem like people either love him or hate him? Well, I don't know about any of that. But I do know how he makes a mixtape, and I'm about to show you. NF's most recent project is called Clouds the Mixtape. It is a 10-track project that includes music divisible into three main styles. First, there is Clouds, that's a joke, Lost, and Trust, which are big orchestral hip-hop instrumentals that play a lot with contrast and layering. Then there is Just Like You, Prideful, and Drifting, which take more of an emotional approach with slower, softer instrumentals that slowly grow in intensity as the track progresses. And lastly, there is a Story, Layers, and Paid My Dues, which go into more of a classical trap style and let NF show off his lyrical skills while not taking too much attention away. The first category usually involves a simple main string melody as the bass on top of which Tommy Prophet builds a thousand layers, making the track massive. The second category uses more of a soft sample or soft piano approach that leaves enough space open to be catchy and easy on the ears. And the last one uses classic trap melody building techniques like the half step technique or the four note bar technique. In this video I'm gonna show you a deconstruction of the thought process of each song in the mixtape individually and show you the techniques you need to make songs like the ones featured on Clouds the mixtape. Here's a list of every technique I will show you during this video and during which song it is sought. So if you're looking for a specific thing, you can just skip ahead. However, I recommend you don't as there are a lot of things in here that I'm sure you don't want to miss. As you can see, I'm going to go from covering simple trap to bigger castle instrumentals, from sad melodies to sample manipulation and everything in between. I made sure to make this video as complete as possible so by the end of it, you'll have all you need to make any NF style beat. I've also created a file that contains everything you need to make a full NF mixtape of your own. I included all the loops and drums created and used in this video along with special one-shots of mine I use in pretty much every beat on this mixtape. I'm also including the FLPs in case you want to know exactly how I mix each song. And lastly, a full ebook containing a simple explanation of all the techniques taught in every beat, plus recommended presets and free plugins you should have. The link to purchase it will be down in the description. If you're interested, the whole thing is only $3.99. But if not, that's totally fine, don't even worry about it. So without further ado, here's how NF makes a mixtape. The first song I'm going to deconstruct is Layers. Layers is a soft and slow starting song that progressively turns more and more into a hard trap song produced by Tommy Prophet and written by him, Saint X and NF. Layers is one of the most trap-like songs of the album, about which NF said the following during an Instagram live. I love that one, talking about layers. I rewrote the beginning of that song like 10 times. I just didn't know how I wanted it to go. That just happens to me sometimes. I'll write something and then rewrite it like 10 times. So clearly the switch from slow, sad beginning to the trap-like verse is very important. But how do you achieve something like that. Well, I'm no Tommy Prophet, but I do have a bunch of tips for you. So get a notebook and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is add a minor scale to your piano roll. 
and a BPM of around 150. Now there are four main steps to get the sound we're looking for, and those are sad piano chord progression, piano top melody, bell synth replacing the piano, and trap drums. These are the new techniques we'll apply in this deconstruction. Every technique used in this video will be also explained in the ebook included on the file in the description, so you don't have to come back and watch this video to refresh your memory. Anyway, with that said, here's how I did it. Step 1. Sad chord progression. For this part, I'll be using the soft piano preset on laps, which is a free plugin. For this, we're going to use a simple yet always effective chord progression guarantee to give you that emotional feeling. That is the 1767 7 progression. Basically, this means putting your root notes in the first, seventh, then sixth, then seventh again notes of your scale. If you want to switch it up a bit, here's a tip for you. Try putting a 1 and 6 on your downbeats. This method also usually achieves that emotional feeling, while giving you some creative space. Now, if you know your minor scale, you already know that to make these four triad chords, all we need to do is skip one tonic note twice, like this and like this, building one minor chord and three major chords. Now, as always, simply highlight the thirds and bring them up one octave like this and press Alt-S to strum them, which makes it sound more realistic. Step 2. Piano top melody. Now for this part, I can't tell you exactly what to do because if I did, then our beats would end up sounding exactly the same. It's okay to copy chord progressions because they always repeat. Whether you hear it or not, they do. But melodies are supposed to be somewhat unique. However, I can give you a few tips. First, since we made our chords each two bars long, we have a bit of space to play with. Use this to create silences, since this makes melodies more emotional. For example, I recommend building your top melody on this first bar and letting it breathe on the next. Next tip is to keep it simple. You don't want to add 10 or 15 different notes to a sad melody. Normally, I would go with 4 to 6 chordal notes with a few non-chordal if necessary. What I mean by this is notes that are also part of our chords, like this. This is the same note as this, and this is the same note as this. And lastly, add extra notes if necessary at the end of bar 2 and 4, since those are the ones that will have a feeling of closure to them. So if you want more notes, this would be my recommended place to add them. And done! Now we have a top melody. Step 3. Bell synth replacing the piano. For this part, I'll be using one of my own one-shots. It'll be included in the clouds file in the description. This part is a bit tricky because we want this bell synth to play the same note from our piano progression, but we also want it to work with hard trap drums. And right now as it is, it's not sounding very hard at all. So what we need is to rearrange this in a way that makes it work better with the trap drums. So first, we need simple trap drums. The first thing I had in mind was to take this down one octave and to fill a bit of this empty space. For that, we don't need anything crazy, we can simply cut some of these notes that are already here. Like this, for example, and like this. Now, this is already sounding much better. And I'll think I'll leave it there. There's our bell progression. And done. Now we have the beat. But this wouldn't be much of a mixtape deconstruction if we didn't have any vocals. Luckily, I know a guy. Yeah. Don't talk down to me. That's not gonna work now. Packed all my clothes and I moved out. I don't even wanna go to your house. Every time I sit on that couch, I feel like you lecture me. Eventually, I bet that we could have made this work and probably would have figured things out. Mm -hmm. 
Lost is one of the bigger instrumentals of this mixtape. It features simple trap drums accompanied by big orchestral melodies playing simple catchy progression, while NF and Hobson show off their lyrical abilities. So that's what we're going for. The first thing you want to do since we're going for more of an evil vibe here is to add a harmonic minor scale and a BPM of around 117. We're choosing the harmonic instead of the natural minor because of this space right here. This major third instead of the natural minor third helps make the seventh chord of the scale play better with the unsettling vibe of trap beats. Don't ask me why, I just know it works. Now there are four main steps to get the sound we're looking for. The first one is what I call big string, simple catchy string melody, tension and trap drums. These are the new techniques we'll apply in this deconstruction. As always, they will also be explained on the ebook and the file in the description. Step 1. Big string. This step, although kinda dumb, is really important. By this I mean the big bassy string you can hear at the beginning of the bar on Lost. It, this actually does a lot for the big dramatic sound it has. That's why I made it its own step. To create this I will use my own one-shot string sample. But to make your own just take a low strong C note on a string plugin and add some reverb, chorus and a of saturation to it. Now reverse it using Edison and put those together. Perfect, but we're not done. I'm also going to add this Vox one shot for a richer high end. And lastly, a tubular bell. NF uses a bunch of these on his songs. It helps make the first note sound big and intimidating. So let's use it as well. And that's it, we have our big string. Step 2. Simple catchy string melody. I like to start off with a bell sample and then build up to the strings. So to start, I'll use this toy box one shot to make a simple repetitive catchy progression. The key to make evil simple trap melodies is to keep in mind these two things, at least in my experience. The first one is that repetition is king, and the second one is to use half step notes. Let me explain. First, repetition refers to building your melody mainly in this first bar and pretty much making it repeat with subtle changes in these other three. Of course this doesn't always apply but it's a pretty good rule of thumb. So we're really looking for a catchy melody here that works well when played in repetition. The second thing to keep in mind is these notes. This, the small half step separation between these groups of notes helps our melodies gain more of an evil feeling. The reason behind this is that notes that are close to each other being played after another sound kind of unsettling to our ears, making the melody sound evil. The third and last tip I want to give you is to play with silence. It helps build suspense. So either use a bunch of notes here and let the rest of the bar breathe or use a small number of notes throughout the entire bar. Using those three tips, I'll build this melody. You can see that I used this half step separation and left this part of the bar breathe since I used a bunch of notes here. I also of course let it repeat. Now to get that NF sounding string arrangement, let's stack sounds. The first one I'll be using is a pizzicato string preset on Xpand 2. I'll also add the short string preset on Labs which is a free VST. I'm also adding some EQ, chorus, compression and reverb to help these sounds blend together. This is what we have so far. Step 3. Tension. Now that we have that, we can move on to the tension building. In an NF record, building up tension is pretty much a must. And the way Tommy Prophet usually does it is by stacking a bunch of sounds. Like, almost insane how this man uses so many noises at once while keeping the whole thing coherent. The principle of layering is to add new sounds to a progression to serve a purpose. In this case, to make our song bigger. So what we're looking for is not simply a louder sound, but a richer frequency range. Like Tommy Prophet said himself. While it may seem random, these layers are actually specific and intentional. You can't hear every single individual sound when it's all in the mix, but together combined, it makes it feel massive because each one is filling a space. For this beat, we're only going to stack two more layers to our melody, but if you want to see me stacking a thousand layers, just wait for the clouds to construction. The first one will be another string orchestral preset, again from Labs, this time playing one octave higher to occupy more higher frequencies. It's important to play with octaves when you're stacking similar sounds because you want them to keep this coherent. To do this, you don't want your sounds fighting for the same frequency range while this space is all empty. They would clash and usually that doesn't sound very good. You want to have a healthy distribution and to feel as much of this as reasonable. That's why this will be one octave higher.
The next layer will be a female A preset from x -Men 2. This is a choir preset and this is one of Tommy Prophet's favorite ways to add tension. You can hear choir singing in every hard-hitting NF song, at least on every hard song from this mixtape. And for this one, I have a trick that I learned from listening to a bunch of Tommy Prophet's productions. He likes to use a choir in two main ways. The first one is to add them just for like one beat, so that it works more like an accent on the strings rather than its own instrument. And the second is to add a whole bunch of notes going all the way to the end of the bar. That way the choir becomes pretty much the most prominent instrument and drives the intensity of the track through the roof. For this pattern we will use the first one, only playing notes over a melody like this to act as an accent on the strings. On this track I don't really want the choir to be that intense so for the next pattern I'll just add a little more intensity by simply extending these last few notes. And that's our tension right there. Step 4. Trap drums. NF usually has big hard hitting drums when it comes to huge instrumentals such as clouds, but Lost is an exception. Here the drums are much more generic and simple, and that ends up playing really well with the instrument, so let's add something similar. First we need some generic snares, for this I will use these two samples, this one the main one and this one the second one. Now since the instruments are pretty repetitive, we need a little variation on the drums for contrast, so I will add two different hi-hat patterns. This one's for the verse, where there's no kick or 808. And let's add some more hits to that for the drop. The drop, I'll also add a hard kick and a long 808. And with the four steps finished and a little bit of arranging, here we have the final beat. Prideful is one of the slower songs of this mixtape. It's more of a chill type of style to which NF hasn't been too close to. He said in an Instagram live, I like Prideful, a lot. I listen to a lot of stuff like that when I'm driving on the road. This one is supposed to be more of a vibe than a big hard hitting trap instrumental, so that's what we'll try to recreate. The sample used in this record is probably a singing sample featured previously on NF's track called I Miss The Days, as this Reddit user points out. As you can hear, the original sample has much more of a choir gospel vibe, so that gave me an idea as to where I could find something similar. Now we have a choir sample, but that's not the final sample we will use. This sounds good but doesn't quite fit any grid and doesn't really sound exactly like what you would picture a chill rap sample. Luckily there are a ton of ways we can manipulate this to make it sound more like what it's meant to. Now I will show you three ways to do just that, so let's get started. 1. Slice. You can do this using one of FL's native plugins like Slicer or SliceX. But since this doesn't even come close to fitting our grid which is at 140 BPM, standard trap BPM by the way, I'm simply going to do this the old-fashioned way and just cut and stretch it myself in the playlist. So first we need to choose the parts we like. For me, they are probably going to be these parts. They are slow, chill and probably going to work well together. Now, by taking the stretch tool, we can make sure these are just the length we want them to be. Since this is a simple four chord progression, I'm going to try and keep it as close to the original as possible, to not mess up the chill vibe of the sample.
Now that sounds better, but it's still not there. Pitching. Now, NF Spriteful pitched up the original sample by a lot. This technique helps keep the sample and the rapper's vocals separate and makes it clear which one is the main vocal performance. So let's pitch our sample up by a bit. Three effects. Now that this is sounding somewhat coherent, let's just add some effects to make this flow better with the drums. First, I'm going to add some EQ and take out the slow frequencies. We don't really want them because they would clash with the 808s and we don't want that. Then a bit of compression to make sure there's no sudden high peaks in volume. Cut out the high frequencies because they were kind of sounding weird to my ears. Some reverb for space, chorus to make it bigger, and lastly, the finishing touches. I noticed these parts didn't really flow like I wanted them to, and some of this still wasn't really on grid. So to fix that, I stretched this part of the sample while extending this one and now it finally feels like a finished sample. Now for the drums, we're going for a chill vibe, so we don't want anything too complex. I started by adding a cymatics drum sample. and followed it with some hi-hats of my own. Added a nice soft snare and a kick plus a long 808. The last thing we need to add is some chords. I know our sample already has them, but the sample can't just loop throughout the entire track. That would be kind of boring. We need rests. So for that, I copied the chords from the sample into this piano, which took me way more than I care to admit, and also layered it with this one shot, which will also be in the one shot section in the file in the description if you want it. And with the sample and the drums finished, here we have the final beat. Bait My Juice was first released as a single back in 2019, as NF's first single after the search. It peaked at number one on the US iTunes charts, becoming one of NF's most popular singles to date. This song goes back to NF's usual hard orchestral trap style. At first I thought the single was made almost in the same style as Clouds or The Search, by that I mean a big orchestral trap song, but the more I listened, the more I was convinced that this song is actually better fitting in a classic trap setting, as this song uses a bunch of simple techniques used by generic trap producers. This song tricks you with its unique sound selection and NF's incredible lyrical ability, but at its core it's kind of a simple standard trap beat. That's not a bad thing at all by the way. Actually it makes it more interesting to deconstruct because we can dive into industry standard trap techniques that you may not know while trying to figure out what it is that makes this sound so unique to NF's style. So let's set our BPMs to around 140 and let's get into it. These are the new techniques we'll apply in this deconstruction. Okay so I found four steps to achieve this type of sound. And those are four note bar trap melody, incorporation of strings, layering and silences, and lastly trap drums. Step one, four note bar trap melody. This refers to a standard trap technique, which is to add only four notes per bar and one note per beat. You may remember this technique from past tutorials from artists like Travis Scott or Lil Mosey. This technique usually requires the use of either a natural minor scale or a harmonic minor scale, so let's add that. Now, like I told you back when we deconstructed Lost, we can use these half step notes to our advantage if we're going for more 
more of a dark evil vibe. So with that in mind, I'll use this separation right here and build a simple descending progression. I'm using the soft piano preset on laps for this part, by the way. Now that sounds unfinished, right? Well, that's because it is. And that's where we're going to add that NF touch to this. So, incorporation of strings. Now, instead of going a classic hard trap route here, we're going to go for more of a sad feeling here. So to achieve that, first I'm going to add the first root notes of our melody and add octaves to them. Now, two more notes for variation and press Alt S to strum them. That makes it feel more real. That feels more emotional already, but to make this feel more like NF, let's add some strings. For that, I'll simply copy and paste the same MIDI to the strings preset on lap. Lastly, we need a bit more low end to add a little bit of weight to this loop. For that, I'll simply add the root notes to this one shot. This is what those four sound together. Three, layering in silences. Okay, so now we have the main melody, but since this sounds kind of repetitive, we're going to have to get creative if we don't want to lose our listener's attention. We already did a bit of layering on the last step, but what we haven't done yet is playing with silence. You can hear how NF does this around minute two on Paid My Dues. The idea here is to take out the main part of the melody without making the beat feel empty to keep the listener's attention. One way to do this, and the one I'm going to use for this bit, is to first take out the main four note melody. Usually, you'll want to add another layer here that fills a space left by the main melody. I often go with a soft pad playing the same MIDI as our chords. 4. Trap drums. And the last step is obviously to add trap drums. In this case we're looking for something a bit more complex since the melody is so simple, so first I'm going to add this cymatic sample. Then, one thing Tommy Prophet does a lot is adding a vocal one-shot at the beginning of the bar. This sounds amazing if you choose the right sample, so I went ahead and made one of my own out of some old one-shot I had. This one-shot is also available in the file in the description if you want to use it, by the way. And lastly, I added some drums of my own. And with the sample and drums finished, here we have the final beat. And at last, here we are, the biggest song of the mixtape, Clouds. Clouds was the main single of the mixtape getting over 50 million streams on Spotify so far. It was by far the hardest one to deconstruct since it has so many layers I barely could make this sound somewhat coherent. But if you don't believe me, just listen to Tommy Prophet, the producer of this track, talking about the making of it. There's so many layers I don't even know where to start. By the way, that's a video where he shows how he made this song in under two minutes and we're going to use clips of that to guide us through this deconstruction. So without further ado, let's get started. 
about it. So there are about four main steps to achieving a sound like this one and those are intro big string, simple pizzicato, layering, bass, vocal sample, layering again, choir and drums. Now this is probably gonna be a lot so if you don't get everything right away don't worry. Everything we cover here will also be explained in the ebook included in the file in the description. These are the new techniques we'll apply in this deconstruction. So let's get into it. Step 1. Intro big string. This step refers to the sound we already covered on Lost so you already know how to build that. Here's Tommy Prophet saying it himself if you don't believe me. Then of course a big fat bass spiccato string on the downbeat as is typical in NFB. So I'm not gonna bore you with the same sound again, instead I'll simply use this one-shot riser I included in the file. Step 2. Simple Pizzicato Alright, so I started with this simple melody with the pizzicato string from Ashen Scoring Cello. This part is tricky, we need something very simple and kinda catchy that will also work well with massive layering. Here you can see just how simple the initial idea for the melody was, so like you can see, one beat long notes and not a lot of variation. But the most important part for me is not this, but this, where Tommy Prophet places his silences. I think this part is crucial for how well it works with the bigger string parts of this beat, so basically we're looking Looking for three things here. One, a simple three or four note progression with one beat long notes. Two, use of silences. Three, not to cover too much ground, keep it close to home which is the root. Of course these are not rules, you can do whatever sounds good to you, but in order to deconstruct this track, these are the tips I'll be following. So by following these tips, I created a simple melody that is not too far away from what Cloud sounds like. So here you can see how I kept it simple while placing my silences differently. To get this sound I stacked two presets, one a soft piano from Labs and two the pizzicato strings preset on X-Band 2. So here we go, layering. Ok that was just the tip of the iceberg but now we have our bass, so let's start stacking. I already told you about layering but let me say it once again. The principle of layering is to add new sounds to a progression to serve a purpose, in this case to make our song bigger. So what we're looking for is not simply a louder sound but a richer frequency range. Like Tommy Prophet said himself. While it may seem random, these layers are actually specific and intentional. You can't hear every single individual sound when it's all in the mix, but together combined, it makes it feel massive because each one is filling a space. On this layering part, Tommy Prophet does not only add pizzicato sounds, but also bells, a ukulele, and way more. So what we're looking for here is to make our initial pizzicato string sound bigger and more intimidating. We want to go from this, to this. We want to do that while not making the pizzicato end up sounding too washed up and weird, so you gotta go slow. I used 5 new layers for this. Here's for the high end. First I added this bell pad, I feel like it adds a nice bit of high end. Then again for more high end I moved up this piano 1 octave. Now mid to low end. For a little more intensity I added this stronger pizzicato preset from Labs. And another one. All of this helped the sound feel a little bigger, but to make this actually huge we are going to need a bunch more low end. Step 4. Bass. And I added 3 really low crunchy bass stabs that end right on the snare. For this part we're also going to need some layering, but this time for the low end exclusively. We want our bass to hit hard here and stop here right before the snare hits. This creates an intense feeling of tension like in a horror movie. To create yours, if you're like me and don't have amazing samples like Tommy Prophet has, I recommend using the following sounds. 1. A very low string preset like the one from Labs, a tubular bell like the same one we used on Lost, a sub bass, the riser sample from before, and lastly a very hard 808. Make sure to EQ these so that the same frequency frequencies aren't fighting for space. And done! That's our base! Also one last tip, make sure to add these settings to your sample so that they stop right when the note stops playing. Step 5. Vocal sample. Here I'm going to use the same one I used for the last beat, which is this one shot. Step 6. Layering again. Here he is referring to the chords, we need them for the last part of the build up. So no longer layering the same melody, now we need straight up chords. So to get those I recommend using an orchestral strings preset. 
Now copy and paste the melody MIDI. Now bring those notes to the beginning and see if you can make a chord out of them using this scale. Now since we know the key, we can actually start adding notes and check together with the melody if we can make something bigger out of this. I recommend playing a lot with octaves. Basically, I just used the starting chords we built and simply copied octaves higher and lower until I went from something like this to something like this. Now I'm playing this part like this because this is the one step before the big one. This is just being used as an accent on the strings, but after this one comes a drop, in which we will play the whole bar. I also recommend using the top notes to build tension. By that I mean basically just make them go in an ascending progression, like this. And done. Step 7. Choir. Now for the choir we already have the chords, so basically all we need is to copy and paste. For this part I'm going to use the female A preset on X-Band 2, which is surprisingly good actually. So with that copied and pasted, our build up is going going to sound like this. Step 8. Drums. Since the melody is so full and complex, I actually recommend keeping the drums simple. I just added a very simple kick, snare and hi-hat progression, and of course also including the 808. And with the 8 steps finished, all we have left is to arrange this thing. So with that said, here's the final beat. That's a Joke is the second track from Clouds and Mixtape. This one features a sample based sounding instrumental while also keeping that big string sound NF has become known for. Since this is a sample based track, we need a sample. Luckily for us, we just made one in the deconstruction of Clouds, so all we have to do is repurpose it. Since I already gave you the main steps for sampling on the deconstruction of Prideful, I'm going to give you a different, newer method. These are the new techniques we'll apply in this deconstruction. So let's get into it. For this one, we're going to use pitching as step one. For this step, I'm actually going to use a half step plugin to make this one octave lower while also making it slower. Now for step two, I'm going to cut this to have some chords to pick from. Then for step three, we're going to build the melody. Like I told you in previous deconstructions, it is important to play with silences when it comes to making evil sounding melodies, such as the one on That's a Joke. So I'm going to keep my silences here and I'm going to try to make up for it at the end of the bar. This is what that sounds like. And done, we have our sample. Now that we have the main sample, we need to make this more interesting. The first step towards that is some layering. And for that, just like in the deconstruction of clouds, we're going to use two main layers, some strings and a choir. To get these chords, I use the same method we used in the build up part of clouds. Now, before we move on to the drop, we need some drums. So with all that done and after some arrangement, we finally have our final beat. Now I have a confession to make. I didn't realize how long this video might actually end up being. Right now it's closer to 40 minutes than I, I would have thought by this point. And I think this video is already too long and you might just don't want to listen to my voice anymore. So I included the explanation of the other four songs in the file in the description. The FLPs will also be included, of course. I'm gonna leave you with a teaser of the four tracks that I didn't get to cover in this video. So if you're interested in learning how those were made, definitely check the file in the description. And if not, well, thanks for sticking with me up until this point. I doubt anyone's still listening, but I really enjoyed making this longer version. So if you actually got to this part, just DM me the word clouds on Instagram and I'll be happy to send you the ebook for free. You don't have to pay anything for it, but just if you got to this part. And with that said, see ya.